let's say I've done my beautiful layout here and I want to get this into PowerPoint. And in this case, uh, I want the whole thing. And I don't want it as an image, I want it as objects in PowerPoint. The key to getting stuff out of InDesign and into PowerPoint when you want like an entire presentation, like here we've got multiple pages, uh, or if you just want a whole page but with editable objects, the key is PDF. Use PDF and use Acrobat. So I'm gonna export this out as a PDF, a print PDF. I have a little PD, uh, preset called hybrid, which is just for RGB. It doesn't really matter what you use. You could use PDFX4, that would work well, or high quality, but I, I have this hybrid PDF I'm not gonna get into. That's, that's for Lori to talk about later. But it's, it basically just does like an RGB medium resolution PDF that I, I so I created this preset. Um, and I want it to view in the export, and I'm just gonna get pages two to three. Oh, no, one to, let's do one to three, sure. Export this out. And I've got broken links, so anyway, you've, you can see I've got a PDF. Whee, very exciting. Now, once it's in Acrobat, here's where the magic is. And I honestly, it took a long time before I figured out that this was in here. Someone pointed this out, and I was like, no way, you can't do this. Export to PowerPoint. And this used to be kind of dorky, but now it's really surprisingly good. Now, is it great? Is it a great translation? No. But is it really surprisingly good? Yeah. Let's knock it out. Here it is. There we go. There's the document. Um, Acrobat converting the PDF into a PPTX file and then opening it in PowerPoint for me. And this is editable. Right? So that's pretty cool. Um, and this is editable. Oh, oh, the background stuff is on, the is on a um, master. It puts out stuff on the master. So like, uh, well, this, it didn't put that on master. But it put, you can see that it breaks this stuff apart. We can move this around. Come on. Move this stuff around. Uh, and so that's pretty dang nifty to be able to take, lay stuff out in InDesign more or less the way you want it, export it as a PDF, use Acrobat to knock it out as a, uh, as a PPTX file, opens it up here. You'll notice that what's wrong, that fonts are, are messed up. I'm not sure why. It often will work, but I think I have seen a lot of fonts, especially a lot of the Adobe fonts that I've downloaded, for some reason it doesn't come across correctly. So we're gonna to have to tweak those a little bit. But this just saved me a lot of time because I can lay stuff out really fast in InDesign and it takes me forever to do it in PowerPoint. So I would much rather lay stuff out using my master pages and so on in InDesign and then knock out a PPTX file that I can edit, that I can tweak later. So that's important. Um, okay, uh, there's another example of that which was, uh, I mentioned earlier that one of the things I like most about, uh, about InDesign is styles. So since I'm on the topic of getting stuff out of InDesign and putting it in PowerPoint, let's go ahead and export this out. I'm just, again, pages, uh, pages two to three, print PDF. I just want two to three out of here. Export this out. I'm just gonna do the same project again. Here's a PDF and I'm going to export this out file export to PowerPoint, and this is amazing. It's amazing not just that it works, but again, it's all editable. And the table is a, is a table. It's actually an editable table here, so I can change this around. So all that data, does PowerPoint normally handle table data well? No, it sucks. But what it really sucks at is dealing with styling tables. Like if I have a PowerPoint presentation where I've got uh, 20 tables, some sales data thing, and I've got a lot of tables, I'm not gonna talk about, I'm not gonna tell you what's, how you should design your tables, how you should design your, your decks. Let's say you need to have tables in your decks and your PowerPoint decks, and there's a lot of tables, page after page of tables. And then your art director says, wow, those are really, really ugly tables. Could you do something about that? Could you make them pretty? Well, you can make tables pretty in, in PowerPoint. <clears throat> it's gonna take you a while, and it's gonna take you a while to do the first one, and then it's gonna also take you a while to do the second one, and then it's gonna take you a while to do the third one. Why? Because there's no styles in PowerPoint, right? You can't just say, make them all better. 
what can you do in InDesign? You can say, oh gosh, uh, I think I'll just say window menu, styles, table styles. Let's go ahead and just apply a table style. Boom, done. Table style applies all the formatting with the paragraph styles and the headers and the everything, right? All, everything looks, uh, we can do automatic, um, alternating tint stripes, et cetera, et cetera. And then how to get that into PowerPoint? You just export it out. I don't need to do it again. You get the idea. But you export it as a PDF. You export it from Acrobat as a, as a uh, PPTX, opens in PowerPoint, and boom, you're done. So much faster. So again, I like, having, I like using InDesign as a creation tool to push stuff out to PowerPoint if I need to. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.